Hi friends, welcome to Pernos.in. In this video, we are going to see a short review on Airmail Valerity 78 and Eyedropper Fountain Pen. And uh, this is a red color uh, marble finished body, and it has a silver trim set where the clip is in silver color and there is a ring which is in silver color. And uh, there is a window here and it, in this we, you can uh, find the inks level inside this pen and the crab, uh, cap held on this body in uh, thread mechanism so you have to unscrew the cap for opening this and there is a breather hole in this cap which prevents the ink from glogging and it will uh, maintain a balanced atmospheric pressure uh, so that ink does not leak or burp uh, ink through the nibs so here this is number four nib fine uh, fine tipped one with golden color uh, golden plated and you can swap with any other nibs uh, as you like so uh, since we have number four nibs in uh, many brands usually pen enthusiasts will swap with candrid nibs where you can uh, find a, a fine medium broad and again with a golden dual tone and with silver nibs uh, so that's uh, your choice and here uh, the holding area diameter is a uh, small one and uh, this is highly suitable for uh, pens for uh, little fingers beginners like children's and uh, also the reservoir capacity is more so you can fill uh, more than 3 ml of inks so yeah this is a very good work hard pen and uh, um, on pen maintenance we have uh, we have to wash the pen regularly that is twice a month uh, because all the di debased ink will uh, precipitate on long usage and it will block the ink's passage in the feeder so you will get a scratchy writing uh, in a sign uh, so slowly uh, the ink will dry quickly so then you, you may have to shake your pens for the inks flow um, I think you may experience this and uh, the reason is the blockage in the feeder yeah blockage in the feeder grow so to clean the deposit and dirts please remove the feeder and nibs uh, uh, separately be, uh, by holding this and nib and the feeder together and twist and pull again yeah this is so easy the nib set comes out very easily and this is a simple two minutes process and then you can flush the feeder with the help of a toothbrush or a, you can clean with the soap water or a tap water if you're soaking this for a, in a soap water then allow it for one hour and brush and clean especially this portion and this is so simple to fix it back yeah that's it and uh, uh, in some ink bottles itself you can notice on every fill it is recommended to clean the pen with water so it is clear unless otherwise we have good maintenance and cleaning um, the flow will be affected so again on maintenance all the threads are tend to worn out so to increase the life of thread please apply silicone grease or vaseline every time you open and close the grip area during the ink fill and uh, whenever you fill the ink fill uh, below the inner threads you can find the threads in the, in, inside the barrel so fill the uh, ink below the inner threads so if you fill in excess leakage path will be created and you will spoil your ants and also few nibs need to uh, fine tune so because uh, during uh, manual assembly of nibs the tines may stick together so gently push the tines up and down so that uh, a space is created between the tine so it will allow uh, this process uh, will allow a good flowing ink and uh, in turn you will get a smooth writing so please ensure both the tines are in parallel 
If not, you will receive a scratchy writing. And whenever we dispatch the pens to our customer, we do this uh, new tuning and we'll check before dispatching. This is our usual practice. And here I'm going to give a writing sample. For that, I'm using our pen of Emerald Green ink. Yeah, I'm dipping and draining the excess. The writing is so smooth. Yeah. Then if you have any query about this pen, you can ask in the comment section or else you can find our WhatsApp number in our uh, penhouse.in site itself. You can call us directly. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.